she lives with me in Austin, so the rest of the time she's with a nanny. And um, I said, how did your day go? And she said, well, I, I, it went all right. I said, no, something's not right. She said, well, you know, I don't think that the volleyball coach, Jacqueline, really sees how hard I work. And I paused a minute, because I had to really think about what, you know, what do I say to her? Because I see how hard she works, and you know, she's new to the team, and she's the youngest on the team, but she does work hard. And I said, okay, well, let me just say this, you know, because um, I've been doing what I do for a long time, and I did it for a long time with no acknowledgement. But why did I do it? I did it because I loved it. So I said, the most important thing is for you to go and love it every time. And even if you get in the game only for 30 seconds or 90 seconds or one minute, when you put your whole heart and soul into it, it doesn't matter if the coach sees it or not, or even if the audience sees it. It matters how it makes you feel. And, um, and she kind of smiled at me and leaned over and kissed me on the cheek. Um, because I think she got it and understood it. It's that love that keeps you coming back. And I, then I said to her after that, you know, hey, look, Van Gogh is an artist who never sold a painting while he was alive, ever. Could you imagine, like, being a volleyball player and never getting your hands on the ball? Can you imagine being an actor and, you know, just, like, never being acknowledged for being a great actor? It didn't matter. I told her it doesn't matter to me because I love what I do, so when I go out on that stage or in front of the camera, it fills me up and it makes me whole. And if you feel that way, keep doing it. So. Thank you. You're welcome.